Hey guys, it's Megan and welcome to today's video. I wanted to share quickly some easy last minute Halloween decorations that you can do using all items from the Dollar Tree and some ways to decorate with creepy cloth because it's a cheap and easy way to decorate for Halloween and make your house look spooky. For my first DIY, I took this skull from the Dollar Tree and some creepy cloth. I actually painted, spray painted the skull a dark silver gray color and there it is there. I also cut the creepy cloth in half and I got some Spanish moss or moss from the Dollar Tree and I took my apothecary jar and filled the bottom with the creepy cloth and then I added a layer of the moss in there just to give it a little bit more dimension. And then I took the other half of the creepy cloth and I kind of placed it over and tucked in part of it. Then I left the back out so I could bring it over the skull and make it kind of like a cape. And then I took this witch headband from Dollar Tree and put it on top of the skull. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. I thought it looked pretty cool for a very minimal amount of money spent. Next DIY, I took this flameless candle from Dollar Tree, a candlestick, and a um, candle plate. And I added some tape around the inside of the candle where, like, where that flickers so that it didn't get spray painted while I spray painted that black. And then I went ahead and spray painted the candlestick and the plate a silver color. This was supposed to be like a mirrored spray paint. I wasn't thrilled with it, but it worked out okay for the project. I attached the candlestick and the candle plate together and then I show right there the candle or the tea light um, that I was going to put as the base to make the candle taller but it didn't end up looking as good as I wanted it to so I took that off and just put the candle in there and I love the way that this looks. My only issue is that when you want to turn the candle on that the little balls move around and you kind of have to reposition it which is why I originally was going to do the little black tea light one underneath it so that that didn't need to lift up for me to turn on the candle. I just like the way this looks much better. But if anyone has another idea of how I could have done it besides actually gluing the balls to the plate, let me know in the comments below. For my next DIY, I took these little skeletons. They were on a garland. I think there's like five of them or six of them on a garland at Dollar Tree. And I just cut them off the garland. And then these were a two pack of these butterflies. I took the little silver uh, stick thing out of the bottom and then I cut the antennas off because I wanted to make them look like wings on the skeletons and I absolutely love how this turned out. I think it looks so cool. I think that there's so many ways that you could use them but I obviously just glued the wings right onto the skeleton and I put them in my blinds in my kitchen as if they were like kind of spooky little creatures hanging out in the kitchen, but you could really put them on top of a pumpkin and a little bird cage anywhere I think would look really cool and I love them. So next I took a skeleton from the Dollar Tree and I spray painted it white outside. And then I just took some black paint because I just wanted to add a little bit of uh, contrast to it and I just kind of spread it around and dotted it and then I took it and put it inside of this black vase and added a little creepy cloth to the top of it and gave it a little hood and I love how he turned out. He looks nice and spooky right there with my pumpkins. Now I'm going to show you some ways that I love to use creepy cloth. I had it like that for a little bit and I realized I want to add some creepy cloth to it. So I literally, you can take the creepy cloth and cut it in half, half the time, and it will be still plenty of creepy cloth, but that one I used just the full one. This is another way I like to use creepy cloth. Just hang it, drape it over a lamp, and it immediately makes your area look a little bit more spooky, and yes, that is a Dollar Tree skirt around that lamp base. And I love also putting creepy cloth on top of tables and draping it over the top. I just think it gives that extra dimension to make your area look a little bit more spooky. And then here again, I put some creepy cloth over lights and then the inside I just taped some little foam spiders in there 
to give it some extra creepiness. So with my little skeleton fairies, I decided let's put some creepy cloth around it. So there it was with some creepy cloth. And then I put some creepy cloth over another mirror and kind of draped it along the front of some flowers and again on a table. So as you can see, there's just so many ways that you can use creepy cloth and it's only a dollar, it's super cheap and it will help to spookify your home. I even added creepy cloth to my fall wreath. I just stuck a spider and a skull from the Dollar Tree and immediately my fall wreath is now a Halloween wreath. So I hope you guys enjoyed these DIYs and ideas. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and stay tuned for my full Halloween home decor coming soon. Hope you all have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.